Thank you so much for purchasing our Made By Us isolation gown kit. Today we're going to show you how to sew it. Our kit comes with all of the materials that you're going to need to sew. You'll have your pattern pieces, your fabric, some instructions. You'll also have YK, YKK hook and loop materials. So here's a look at the final product. So we're going to be making this today. It takes about an hour to sew. We have a self belt. And this is all made out of disposable fabrics. The back will be opened and the front will have that belt that we showed in the beginning. And a reminder, everything is pre-cut for you, including two sets of sleeves, right and left. And we also have We also have two sets of back pieces that are pre-cut. And just a reminder to remember which side of the fabric you should be using as the outside. It should be waterproof. So if you're having a hard time figuring that out, you can touch the side and it'll have a coating on it, or you can test it by dropping some water on top of the outside of the fabric. If it doesn't permeate the fabric, then you're using the correct side. We also have our front body piece. And going forward, we'll show you how to use a small 10 inch salad bowl to create your neckline. We have our YKK hook and loop which will be the way that we open and close our gown. Your kit may come with YKK hook and loop that has adhesive on the back, or you may have to sew that. So we'll discuss that later on in the instructions. Now we're gonna get started. Laying out all of our different pieces to make sure we have everything that we need your back pieces, your right and left sleeve pieces, and your front body. So now we're going to use that 10 inch salad bowl to create that neckline. So you just place it on top of the pattern piece at the top and draw a little arc. Doesn't have to be perfect. And now we're gonna cut along that line to remove the piece of the pattern that we don't need so that we have our neckline. There you go. Now we're gonna place our front piece to the back pieces. Make sure your shoulders are meeting at the front and back. So you place those on top of each other and then your back pieces will also overlap. And we're gonna create a similar curve for the back neck, but it's not gonna be as big as we did for the front. It's gonna be about a third of the previous arch that we created. And we're gonna cut that out just like we did to the front. Now we're going to create the placement for our YKK hook and loop. You just wanna make sure that you place it around um, the, in the, the section of the overlapping of the back pieces. It should be about six to seven inches long and just make sure you're not overlapping the edges of the pieces. Now 
Now we're just making sure that our sleeves are going to be placed properly. And we're going to show, sew the shoulders. We're going to do a straight stitch and then on both shoulder seams. And then we'll also finish that off with an overlock stitch so you have a little bit more stability. Now we're going to attach the hook and loop. So again, I mentioned before, you may have the adhesive hooking, hook and loop, so that will just stick to the fabric right away, or you may have to sew it. So just sew around the edges of the strip to make sure that it's secure. And clip those extra threads as you go along. So now that our shoulders are placed, we're going to work on attaching our sleeves. Just gonna lay our big pieces flat on our table and align the sleeves to each side. And a reminder that we don't want to pin while we're making these garments. We don't want to puncture the fabric. So just place them as best as you can and we'll sew a straight stitch. So we'll sew both sleeves, left and right. And then again, we'll finish that with an overlock stitch for extra stability. Now we have our sleeves attached and we're going to clip all of our extra threads that we may have missed while we were sewing. Then we're showing you just the other side again no pins for making these isolation gowns. We don't want to puncture the fabric. So just place it as best as you can. And then get ready to sew. So now we have both of our sleeves attached. We're going to lay out our front and back on top of each other. Now we almost have a finished garment. We just want to make sure that everything is lining up correctly on the sleeve and the side seam. Just making sure that everything looks good before you continue sewing. So now that we know that our pieces are lining up properly, we're going to put our elastics on our sleeve opening. So just so you know, the sleeves are a little bit longer than needed. A lot of medical workers in, like to just take the sleeves and insert them into their gloves. Or we can add the stretch elastic as we're showing you in this video. So you want to take the elastic and Pull it as you sew so that you create that, you know, stretchy, sheared look on the sleeve cuff. So just keep pulling and pulling because your pattern piece is going to be longer than your actual elastic. You want your finished elastic length to be nine inches. So we're gonna do that other side. There we go. 
And now we're going to sew under the sleeve all the way through the side seam. You're gonna have to turn it once you get to that sleeve seam and then continue down the side seam all the way to the edge of the garment. And then we're gonna overlock again. And then we're going to repeat for the other side. Now that our gown is sewn, we're gonna turn it inside out so that the right side of the fabric is showing. So you basically have a finished gown. We just have to add the self belt. So we're gonna take our belt and we're gonna mark it 17 inches from the neckline and 21 inches from the shoulder seam. Just gonna mark it with a little marker or a pencil so that you know where to place it. And that'll show us where we're gonna be sewing it on. And a reminder, the belt should be sewn onto the front of the garment. Now we're gonna straight stitch, sewing the belt along the front. And it should be a rectangular shape that you're sewing. And now we have our gown. Clip any extra threads you have and feel free to try it on. You have your YKK hook and loop on the back and then you have your belt that you can tie to fit. There you go.